Alright, so this video tutorial will show you how to send messages without using any kind of Mac or anything like that. We're going to use the Discord API in a slightly inofficial way to send messages to any Discord channel at all. So to do this, we need to use Python uh, for this specific video. So we're going to use Python and we need to import a library called requests, which is the library we're going to be using to send the post requests. So with requests, uh, it basically allows you to send API calls. You probably know all that uh, already. but uh, of course we need a discord account as well so i just created a discord account here called codect which is the account i'm going to be using to send a message and to actually be able to send any messages we need the token uh, the access token of this discord account and we also need to enable uh, something called the de developer mode so that we can copy the channel id that we want to send to now once we have all that you can click on f12 to open up this uh, developer tool window and you want to make sure that the network tab is open and then just go ahead and send anything and you will see the request that that, uh, that that posted and you will see the request to api version 8 channels and this is the channel id of the channel we just sent the message so you want to copy this url and you want to paste it inside uh, visual studio code so let's just make a comment right here paste it and this is the link that we're going to be posting to now the next thing is that we need to create a new request object so let's name this actually let's just name it r equals requests dot session actually don't write this let's not use the session i'm sorry let's just do everything in one step so request actually r equals request dot post okay so we're going to use post request to post this uh, to post our data to this link so to use post request we of course need uh, something to post or you, you don't always need that but for this specific uh, api we need something to post and that's called the payload and we also need something called headers to be able to authenticate ourselves and that's where the access token gets put in so now we can use this link up here to paste in here as a string and once we have the string we need the data as well now we don't have any data and we need to create a dictionary called payload since that's what they're using in the uh, official documentation of requests also i'm sorry if you have uh, if you hear any pop sounds i don't really use my pop filter this time so i'm very sorry for that but anyhow uh, we have the payload dictionary right here and we need to populate this with some keys so if we go ahead and open up uh, chroma uh, again we can scroll down here and we can see the request payload as you can see it's called payload here as well um, so we can see everything that this posted to the server now we are only interested in the content part of this payload so let's just copy the the, um, the content part and let's paste it inside visual studio code as just like this but we need to make it a string as well since that's how python works so now we have a, our payload here and this is the payload that we are going to be posting to the server so now let's copy this uh, variable up here let's paste it in here and the last thing we need is the headers. Now we need to create a new dictionary called header um, and then we need to populate this. So if we go back to uh, Chrome developer tools and scroll up, we can see that in the request headers, they use something called authorization. Now that's what we're gonna be using. So we can actually just copy the entire thing here and we can paste it inside Visual Studio Code and this is actually the only key that we need in the header so let's just make this a string this is the access token this is the token that you can use to do whatever you want on your discord account and this is basically everything that we need to post something to the channel so now all we have to do is pass in the headers as headers so let's call headers equals headers um or header yep yeah. and that's all we need to do now if i click save and if i click on run this will pay or post something to the server as you can see it said s now i can verify this by typing something else so let's say hello world just to be very generic and let's play this and let's see if it's sent as you can see it did send and just to show you guys to send how to send to another channel you can create a new channel let's name it whatever and let's right click copy the id and this is the id that we paste inside here you can of course make this a variable to change this whenever you want to so put it in here click save run and now it will send to this channel that's all i want to show you guys in this video if you like this straightforward tutorial then please leave a like down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video